Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So there's a bunch of drama that went on last night on social media. Um, I wasn't feeling too good, so I went to sleep, and then I found out everything this morning when I logged onto my Instagram page. Um, also, before I get into the story, we will be doing the call-in show today for Spotify Live. It'll probably be between 4 and 5 o'clock, so just look for me to post on IG, Twitter, and on YouTube. Um, so if you want to join in the conversation, we're talking about the drama with teachers and students and all of these fights that are going on, teachers getting hurt, students getting beat up, and vice versa. So make sure you tune in to today's show. Um, I feel a lot better, so we will have the show today. So sorry I had to cancel yesterday. So now, back to the story at hand. What's going down is this. If you guys do not know, yesterday, honey, Bambi... Scrappy's daughter, Imani, and Scrappy's baby's mother, Erica Dixon, they all got into it. It was really crazy. So let me go ahead and break this all down to you. So the drama started when Scrappy's daughter, Imani, um, basically she was online. She was talking to her fans. And you know these messy-ass fans, child. They kept asking her about her stepmom. And her stepmom is Bambi. And so basically, Amani got annoyed and she said, stop asking me about that lady. So as soon as she said that, Bambi didn't take too kindly to that. She basically thought it was shade. So Bambi posted a picture on Instagram and captioned it, it's giving that lady. So y'all go ahead and check this out. I think she's to graduate. Like, I wish... Please stop asking about my stepmom. Stop coming on here asking about that lady. Do y'all see me post with her? Do you do you see me around her? No. Just stop asking me about that lady. So once she posted that, that's when, you know, Erica Dixon being the mama bear, she jumped into Bambi's comments and she wrote that old lying ass lady and accused her of being petty with her child. Imani also commented on the post and said that she was not trying to be shady. She just wanted people to stop asking her about Bambi. Erica then told Imani, you don't have to explain yourself because Bambi ain't going to do nothing to you. So the back and forth was kind of crazy, but then it escalated even more. So Bambi was not backing down at this point. She took to Instagram to address both Imani and Erica, and she made some really disturbing accusations where Bambi claimed that Erica was using Imani for a Love and Hip Hop storyline because I guess Love and Hip Hop is currently filming right now. And from what I'm hearing, honey, it's a lot of drama going on with Erica, Bambi, Scrappy, Mama D, and even Imani. And so she's accusing her of using her daughter for a storyline. But then it got a bit more sinister. She also accused her of being an abusive mother and said that she had been physically abusing Imani for years. then after that, Amani came out and she basically was defending her mother and she accused Bambi of lying about her age and questioning her abilities as a mother. Amani also said that, yeah, Erica did pop her for being disrespectful, but she basically insisted that it was an isolated incident and she maintained that both of her parents take good care of her. So y'all go ahead and check this out, honey. I'll let everybody get in here so y'all can screen record and go post this too. Cause stop playing with mama. Cause we could do this all day. We could do this all day. So since we being all the way a hundred, she posted a paper of when I got in trouble because I was being smart and my mama popped me. That's nothing. Read the whole thing. That is nothing. Second of all, let's tell the truth about how my sister hair was falling out because you wasn't even washing her hair or bathing her properly. 
Um, you can't even watch all three of your kids by yourself. You need my dad and a nanny to be with you or your mama 24-7. So let's not talk about parenting. And me and my siblings are very well taken care of. And my mama go 100% for all of us. I don't have to stand in child place. I'm 18. And you're not going to keep speaking or speaking on my part or my mom part. You cannot love me as a child. If you go around making diss tracks about my father or talking about my mama, you don't have no respect. You don't love me. None of that. So cut it out. You don't love nothing. You don't love nothing. Cause if you love me, you want to be online doing all this. This ain't love sweetie. So then after that, it got even uglier with Bambi posting a recorded phone call. She had secretly recorded Scrappy talking about Erica Dixon and Imani and, you know, the alleged abuse allegations. So once she posted this, Erica Dixon was pissed and she got online to basically address the situation. So I'm going to go ahead and play both of these clips. Y'all go ahead and check this. Little go around. But that's me. That's, that's me knowing. I didn't say that. That, that had to be money. But what I'm saying, but what I'm saying, Scrub, is like how many times has she came and said all crazy stuff about her mom, right? And and then will go to her mom and say crazy shit like that. That right there is crazy because like now y'all using bits and pieces of what y'all want to pull out. Like if I say, oh well, your money said that you got 50 niggas at your house all the time. Or Imani say it's always a nigga in and out and you fucking on somebody while you're pregnant. Now that's fucked up because we know that, you know what I'm saying, this child is feeling like she got to pick a side whenever she's with the other person. this stuff is real. Like, I can... So it's not real when she was saying she was getting beat on and slapped on? Is that real? No, I'm asking you a question. Is that real or not? That's how I feel. You feel like... Is that real yeah, or that's not? not? That's how I feel. I'm but I'm going live because it it just it's crazy to me how <laughs> you still on these abuse allegations, Bambi. You and Scrappy tried to have my kids taken from me. Like I said, y'all were some miserable people. You still are miserable. You're so bothered by me, love. And I guess you're just gonna continue to be. And and I get it. If I wasn't me, I'd be bothered by me too. But here's the thing. Anybody can make a police report. I can go do a police report now and say, I seen bruises or seen some shit. You know what I'm saying? On your money. It's a police report. But what you need to post is the paperwork from the whole investigation. Because I went through everything. Because I ain't got nothing to hide. My kids are well taken care of. And see, me love, I can do it with or without a man. That's the difference. So I'm not going to go back and forth with you on social media. I'm not tagging you in no stories or nothing. Like we just sat down and talked. It got heated. You got up and walked away. So everything that you're saying online, we can meet again. Like I'm open to it. Let's let's meet again. All right, so you guys just saw those clips, and basically Erica is saying that Bambi had been trying to get her child taken away from her for years and that, you know, nothing came of it. So like I said, everybody was talking about this on all the blogs, and everybody was also searching for Mama D, and of course, Mama D did not fail to deliver. And for everybody who was there in ATL last year, uh, Mama D came to the event, and you know, she's such a sweet person if you really get to know her outside of the cameras and, you know, loving hip hop and stuff like that. And she just, you know, said a lot of touching words to us last year. Just got to do better as black women. We got to love on each other and love on ourselves. Just because somebody got more money or look better or dress that better, compliment them. Don't hate on them. Love them. Show them love. Unless they come for you. Then you got to do the mama do. <laughs> Other than that, when people say, you know how they say in the um, sanctified church, you pray those spirits out you. Right. I'm going to be very honest, y'all. I tell them, I need some of those spirits because I need you to stay in me so I can fight the, the means of the devil. Okay? Because only the devil can fight the devil. Okay. Amen. So it's really sad that their family is still going through all of this conflict and drama. But Mama D basically feels like, you know, she's tired of her and her family always looking bad and Bambi always being a lot to play victim. So Mama D definitely had a lot to say. So y'all go ahead and check out what Mama D had to say about the situation. I keep having to get off because people keep calling. Um, yeah, what my family is going through is very disturbing. 
um, it's crazy. My son is about to lose his mind. Um, my granddaughter's back, and I have Erica's back. Because I would not address an 18 year old for nothing. You couldn't pay me to do that. It could be your 18 year old. I would never. I would just, no. Nah. Mm -mm. I would never display childlike ways. Pray for us. Thank you. Yeah, the palace, but you know what? Guess what? Uh, God got it. See, y'all got the, you know how we, when we, when we pray or we talk to Jesus and we say, God help me. See, you can't get it to him and take it back. You can't, you know, you can't take, give God your problems. You know, you know, you can't take it back. You got to give it to him. When you give it to him, let him have it, okay? Let him have it. So, it's going to get okay because this too shall pass. And I admit it. I'm not going to. Yeah, my granddaughter Money is a good girl. You know, she's an A student. You know, she meant nothing by it. Talk about that woman. You know. Yeah, she's still a child. So why would you address the 18 year old? But you know what? Everybody that tells you they mature ain't mature because you can tell by their actions. Because I done show wouldn't go back with nobody 18 year old child. My family is real life. It's right now in real time. And uh, it hurt. And people ask me sometimes, is that stuff that go on TV real? Of course. Unfortunately, it is. So... Yes, I think he money just exploded um, because a lot of things had been done to her uh, from the Bam and her mother. Her mother called Iman a label, but yet Bam be seen on Instagram toting every label she can put on her back. See what I'm saying? You got to be, you got to watch your wolf in sheep clothing. That claim and talk, talk the talk and ain't walking the walk. You feel me? Like for real, for real. My granddaughter's a lady, but my okay. All right. <laughs> but you, you walking around with stuff on? Okay. Mm. All right. Help me, Lord. So you know. Yeah, that's true though. Straight up. So you got to watch what you call people, kids. And you live in that same life, okay? If money is born into that life, somebody else just got on the bandwagon. You just married that life and been so blessed and take it for granted. It's a lot. It's a lot, y'all. Yeah, it is sad. I'm hurting. My son is hurting. Imani and Erica is hurting. I'm tired of our side getting victimized and then the other side get taken up for or made excuses for. We're not doing that. If you want to call it a draw, both sides wrong. Other than that, I don't want to hear it. You know what I mean? Like straight up. You tried to warn and scrap this one on the board and she took it. Yes, yeah, she did. She did very much. So now on top of yesterday's drama, this morning, Mama D stepped into the shade room about 30 minutes ago. And this is what else she had to say about the situation. She says, everything that my granddaughter has said and has spoken is the God's honest truth. I'll, I'll pray and hope that Nancy's who she is because she's been hiding a lot of stuff from the world. But God is getting ready to reveal who she is and the world going to be shot. Pray for my whole family. Erica is the mother of my oldest grandchild. Bambi is the mother of three more of my grandkids. She needs to remember that when she's talking about the oldest grandchild, who confronts an 18-year-old over nothing? I hate when people troll the IG, get a life because that's what God gave you. So spend your time wisely on this earth. I wonder how she would feel if someone talked to her three kids, my other grandkids. We will all be upset, but for now, pray for us. Then she goes on to say this underneath the recorded conversation. She says, and what would your kids say about you? I'm just saying, wow, that's low down and dirty to do my son like that and take and tape him. I think she meant tape. 
and tape him without him knowing, I hope the rest of the men on this earth see how low down, conniving, and manipulative you are. Then she wrote this under Erica's post. She says, facts. You take care of all three of your kids. I'm eyewitness. She don't need no Spanish speaking nanny to help her raise her kids. She's always with them. And when she's not, she's working or they're in school. Shout out to Erica for being an on time mama and very much hands on. She may use a babysitter every now and then, but she raises her kids. They are with her and not a nanny. Goes on to say, Bonnie speaking up for herself. She spoke the truth. She could have said so much more. She has a voice and has the right to use it. Imani, you were respectful, clear, and concise for years. We've all seen things and stayed silent to respect your dad and their marriage. The envy, the insecurities, and hate are on full display. When your bonus mom, as she calls herself, displays her true character, keep shining, keep climbing, be who you are, naturally beautiful and brilliant. Your future is bright and the best is yet to come for you. So that is what Mama D had to say. She was pulling no punches. And I definitely agree with Mama D. She made a lot of good points. And this speaks more on Bambi's character than everybody else's because Bambi got so mad about the situation when it was not that serious. And, you know, I can only hope that they all end up resolving their differences because it's no fun when the family feuds. At the end of the day, they are a blended family now, like it or not. Bambi's not just the girlfriend. She is going to be the soon-to-be ex-wife, but she has three children by scrap. And those are Imani's half-brothers and sisters. And, you know, they're going to have to find a way to get along for the sake of the children. But I just think that at the end of the day, Imani, I don't think she was being disrespectful. She was telling the fans, basically, stop being messy. Stop bringing up that lady's name. You know, this is not her live stream. If you want to talk to me, talk to me. And I think for Bambi to get that upset that she called her that lady... Maybe she could take that as disrespect instead of her calling her her stepmom or her dad's girlfriend or or her dad's wife or whatever. Regardless, I think Bambi was being very petty in this situation and very childish. You know, why even respond to her? You know, if that's how she feels, leave it alone. You're the adult in the situation. And then the fact that she went to bring up the abuse allegations and to play, you know, secretly recorded audio, to me is just trashy. It's hard for me to respect people who secretly record others. Because again, when you're secretly recording, you're going into that situation on your best behavior. So people who secretly record people to me are trash. So Bambi's trash for that I'm sure you know Scrappy is looking at her crazy like really you were recording me and now you're going to post it on social media it just was not a good look but I leave the question up to you guys y'all know I'm gonna break down everything for y'all let me know your thoughts how do y'all feel about this entire situation do you feel like you know Imani was wrong for how she came at Bambi Do you feel like Bambi was the one in the wrong because what Imani said wasn't that serious? How do you feel about Erica Dixon getting involved? How do you feel about Bambi living in all these allegations and bringing them to light? And then last but not least, how do y'all feel about what Mama D had to say about the situation as well? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Make sure to hit that like button. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.